Welcome to another episode of Todoist, Learning the Basics. My name is Jerry Colbert, and in this week's episode, we're going to be talking all about project templates. Coming up next. So here we are within Todoist for Mac. And in this week's episode, we're going to be talking a little bit about project templates and how to use them. So what are project templates? Well, basically, a project template is a project that has already been set up with different parameters that you might want in your project. And you've made a template out of it. And the template is a CSV file. So it can be imported into other applications or even back within uh, Todoist. So now you can export projects as a template and you can also import projects into Todoist as templates. Now, in this episode, I'm gonna show you the basic exporting of a project and also importing of a project and a website that has some project templates on it that you can import into your Todoist to, I guess you could say, um, use someone else's idea of what they thought was a good template for a project. Okay. Now, here you see I have Todoist opened up here for the Mac. And um, here's my projects here. Now, let's say, for instance, for some odd reason, I wanted to um, make a template out of this someday maybe folder here. Okay. Now I can do such. I can go here, click on someday maybe. Then I can go up here to this project actions. I can click on that and I can export it as a template. And so when I click on export as a template, it's going to bring up this dialog box. You have two choices. You can either export as a file or export as a shareable URL. Typically, you would want to export it as a file. So when I click on that, it's going to take me to a web page. And you have to be, by the way, logged into Todoist on the web for this to work. I found that out um, a couple weeks ago. Anyways, so once you do that, it downloads the file into your download folder. So when you open up your download folder here, you'll see that I have the someday maybe uh, CSV file right here in the downloads. And if you were to click on, double click on that, it would open up if you have Excel on your uh, computer. You'll see that this project, once it opens 10 years later, has a bunch of tasks in here for the Someday Maybe folder, okay? Or the Someday Maybe project. Now, the cool thing about this is that, as you see, I also have another uh, project in here that I uh, exported earlier, and I wanna show you the cool thing about um, exporting a project and then re-importing it later or what have you, or maybe uh, you exported it for a friend and he wants to use it in his Todoist, um, you can do such. And the way you can do that is if you go back here to Todoist. So the way I could do that is I would go over here to add project here. And let's say I want to, because uh, the other one was called 2016 SEO checklist. So maybe I want to call this 2018 SEO checklist. And I add that project. And when I uh, click on the project and go up here to project actions, I can import that project by hitting import from template. And it gives me this drop uh, dialog box here. And I can either drag it into here or I can select it from my computer. So I'm going to go ahead and click on select from my computer. And I'm going to select that checklist and hit open. And when I do so, it's going to import everything that's in that project right here into this new created 2018 checklist. It's just that simple. It also puts everything that was in the 
comments in here. It does everything for you so you don't have to recreate the wheel within Todoist for that project. Now, also, you can go to a um, nice little website here called uh, To Do Templates. And in here are some uh, To Do Templates or To Doist Templates that other people have created and have given to the community to be able to utilize in their Todoist as well. So maybe somebody's come up with an idea for a, um, a uh, Todoist template that really works well for them and maybe you see that and you're like, oh my gosh, yes, that'll work great for me too. Well, you can import that into your Todoist as well just by coming to this page and finding the one that you want to use. And there's several in here that are uh, useful uh, depending on uh, what you want to use. So if you see here, I have uh, several of them here and I'm going to pick uh, this one right here. Ultimate YouTube Creator Checklist Recording, Editing, Publishing, and Sharing. Okay. So when I click on the import button here, it's going to take me to this import from a template and it's going to automatically import this checklist into my Todoist on the web, which will sync to my Todoist on the desktop. It'll automatically create this checklist for me so I don't have to go into Todoist and import it. So it's not going to export it down to a, the download folder and then I have to re-import it. It's going to go ahead and automatically import this checklist, this project into my Todoist and it's going to create a project for me called YouTube Video Creators Checklist. Now coincidentally you can uh, if you've already created that checklist in your uh, projects you could always select the project that you want to import that checklist in and it'll just import it directly into there. But if you didn't already create it and you wanted just to create a new project called that then that's all you have to do and you just hit import and when you do such, it's going to import it and then it's going to say, hey, this has successfully completed and now I open up the web app. And there it is right here, created for me nice and easily. And see, it's already put everything in the, uh, in the way that the checklist was created uh, on the other person's uh, Todoist. And it's put it in their sequence, even with the little emojis as well. So these are the cool things that you can do with uh, project templates in order to either help yourself um, get further along uh, with creating projects, maybe faster. Uh, if, you, if someone else has got a project that works really well for them and they uh, share it with you, they could always, instead of sharing it so you're not both utilizing the same project, uh, they can just export it and you import it and now it's not really sharing between you two as far as you complete a task and now it's completed on his end and this and that but it's rather you are exporting it and he's importing it or he's exporting and you're importing and now you all are using the same checklist but it's not actually sharing now these are the cool things that you can do with exporting and importing uh, projects. So I hope you got something out of this uh, episode. And if you did, please click on that like button right down below. And if you want to see more episodes like this in the future, don't forget to click on that subscribe button. And if you're wanting any notifications of upcoming episodes, don't forget to hit that notification bell as well. And so without further ado, I want to wish you all an awesome day and let's become more productive. Thank you.